Tom, a very one-sided match today, 7-1, to one, Yellow Jackets came out on top. How important was it for the team to make a statement today after a couple games that you didn't necessarily play uh, your best earlier this year? Yeah, it was very, very important. Um, the first two games, um, I don't really know what happened. There was a few, uh, there was a few mistakes going around. Um, we wasn't bringing what we've been doing in practice to those games. Um, so it's very important for us to get this win and score those goals before we head to California. We thought we played really well today. Talk about the goal that you scored, how exciting that was. Uh, it came on a corner kick, not directly, but a ball that sort of got played back out to the corner. Uh, you stayed in the box and finished it with your head. Yeah, um, a lot of the times when the corners come in and then the ball goes out, the defenders, rather than tracking their man, they just sort of move up and, and they, I, got, I got off the man. I had some space and fortunately it went over Ricky's head and I managed to get a goal. Uh, someone else has to do a little bit of scoring yeah. for the team. Uh, your first goal in a Yellow Jacket uniform, being a fourth-year player, obviously a center back, so not a ton of opportunities, but what does it mean to uh, put a finish in the net today? Everything. I've always, I've always uh, set myself to, to score more goals. I mean, I know I'm good in the air, and I think I should be way more of a threat than I have been on set pieces, so I'm really hoping that this is actually the first of many this year, and I'm going to really go for it. Ricardo, entering today's match, your team had scored just one goal in your first two exhibition games. A 7-1 result today. Uh, how important was it to score a lot of goals today? Well, as Tom said before, before going to California, this game was huge because of the confidence it gave. So it was a good result. Personally, scoring four goals, it helped me to keep going. So it was good. And talk about the four goals that you scored. It just seemed effortless the way that you were combining with other players, Adam Hepburn, uh, Julian Tungus. Talk about the guys serving the ball into you and your finishes. Well, of course, I can't do it by myself. I need Thiago's help, Julian. So those goals are team goals, not only me. And talk about where you guys go from here. A solid victory. You said it's going to give you momentum into California. What are your expectations for the match Thursday? Well, we know Cal Poly is a huge team. They won, but we're going to do our game. We don't care, so we're going to do our best. And talk about the defensive unit as well. They gave up one goal, but very solid overall today. Yeah, overall was good defending. Some mistakes, but it happens in the midfield, at the top. But we have to work on that, and we'll be fine. We needed this. We needed a convincing win, not so much in terms of the score, but in terms of the way we played. We asked the guys to play with a little bit less risk, but still tried to build out of the back, and they did that. I think that our team today executed the game plan, not to perfection because there's still a little ways to go, but they did a very, very good job. They listened before the game, and there's a lot of players that played a lot of minutes again, almost everybody in our squad, and all of them um, did their jobs. And that's what we asked them to do. Do your job first, and then you can start thinking about the collective. And that's, when we, that, that's how we grow um, as a team, as a unit. So very happy with the way we played, especially the first 25 minutes. Uh, we put it down, and uh, it was one, two touch. Uh, it, was, it was good to see. The guys trained really, really hard um, the last couple of days, and that translated itself in a very, very convincing performance and win. You commented just now how it seemed like you built from the back very well. Uh, one goal in particular I'd like you to comment on was Ricardo's second goal. Four different players had one touch each, and it was in. Started with Tom Lohman, a touch to Julian Tungus, a touch to Garrett Robinson, and then one touch for Ricardo. Uh, to score with that kind of efficiency, move the ball from your own box to the other team's goal, comment on why that uh, is a good representation of how you want this team to play. We trained on that. And again, it's, uh, you know, the team deserves a lot of credit for replicating what we did in training uh, to, the, to, the, to the game today. We asked them to play a little more vertically instead of horizontally, to try to be a little more um, attacking minded, not spray too many passes wide when, when there was space and when there was no need to do that. And to go from our box, from our keeper, to the back of the net of, of the opposition, in just four players, one touch. Uh, I mean, I know that we played a junior college today, a very solid junior college program, but it's going to take good teams to stop us uh, from doing this if we, can, if we can replicate this in the next few games. And I think that's one of, our, one of our assets, the fact that we can play very quickly, that we've got a lot of speed going forward. And again, like I said, we're going to be hard to stop with the speed and the skill that we have going forward if we can replicate that in the next few games. 
And lastly, just comment on Tom Saltwell, able to contribute a goal. He's meant so much to you in his four seasons as a center back, and uh, now he's able to get on the score sheet. I'm absolutely thrilled for him. He's one of the guys that stuck it out. He's a four-year senior, just like Gert, who's been here for five years. And it's awesome to see that all the work that he's put in, you know, this preseason, the last few seasons accumulated in, in, in that one goal. But just like we got voted third in the GNAC, uh, in the GNAC preseason poll, uh, we want more and I know that Tom wants more. What I'm very, very happy with uh, was the gesture he made after the goal when he kissed um, the sleeve of his jersey, when he kissed the TW, because as, as some people may know, uh, Trevor passed away just over a year ago. So I think that was a very, very fitting gesture. And um, I, I think that, uh, I thank Tom for that.